You're in tune to 93.1 Real FM. It's 19 hours and it's now time for the 93.1 Real FM News in Detail. Good night. We're so happy that you can join us. Welcome. I'm Gabriella Patra. Locally, in some COVID-19 update, the Ministry of Health has announced that as of October 19, 2021, four more persons who tested positive for the novel coronavirus COVID-19 have died. This takes the total number of deaths from the pandemic to 881. The patients were admitted with COVID-19-like symptoms but died while receiving care at medical institutions. Samples were taken at the time of admission with subsequent, subsequently returned positive tests. Meanwhile, the country recorded 118 new cases, taking the total positives recorded to date to 34,726. There are 21 persons in the ICU, 113 in institutional isolation, 3,503 in home isolation, and 7 in institutional quarantine. A total of 30,206 persons have recovered. Two weeks after he was ordered by the Ministry of Home Affairs to proceed on leave, a fire chief Edu is back on the job. On the 5th of October, Mr. Edu was sent on leave following the president's criticism of the fire department response to the breakdown police station. News source understands that Edu leaves should have been for more than three weeks, but he was contacted by the Ministry of Home Affairs and informed that he should return to the job today. He was not given a reason as to why the leave was cut short, but news source on understands that some senior officials in the government were not supportive of the recently appointed fire chief being sent on leave over the breakdown fire issue. Mr. Edu was appointed fire chief in February. Two weeks ago, President Irfan Ali did not hold back words as he accused the fire service of incompetence in its response to the fire at the breakdown station. The president at the time said persons who do not want to provide a public service should leave their jobs. <laughs> Regionally, in Trinidad and Tobago, all students from Forms 4 to 6 will be required to return to physical school from Monday, October 25, 2021, as all online classes will be discontinued. This was announced by the country's Minister of Education. In addition, students from Forms 1 to 3 will return to the physical classroom in January 2022. This declaration comes as the recognized majority union, the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, stage two blackouts over the ministry's plans for the resumption of physical classes for vaccinated students only. The industrial action occurred on October 5, 2021 and on September 30, 2021. In response, ministers of education along with education officials met with the association and other stakeholders on October 13 and 14, 2021 respectively. They discussed the current physical operations of schools along with proposed changes for the immediate future. On the international scene, Queen Elizabeth II is resting at Windsor Castle after reluctantly accepting medical advice to cancel a trip to Northern Ireland planned for Wednesday and Thursday, Buckingham Palace has said. The 95-year-old UK monarch has been advised to rest for the next few days, the, place, the palace said in a statement. Sorry. A source close to the palace told CNN that it is not COVID-related. Her Majesty is in good spirits and is disappointed that she will no longer be able to visit Northern Ireland where she had been due to undertake a series of engagements today and tomorrow, the statement said. The Queen sends her warmest good wishes to the people of Northern Ireland and looks forward to visiting in the near future, it added. The Queen's medical update comes days after she turned down a magazine attempt to award her the title of Oldie of the Year, saying she felt too young at heart. She's the world's longest reigning monarch, presiding over the nation for almost seven decades. She became Queen in 1952 at age 25. And
And finally, in the world of sports, in some Champions League update, Man United pull off stunning turnaround against Chelsea Coast to victory. Cristiano Ronaldo headed the winner nine minutes from time as Manchester United came back from two goals down to record a memorable Champions League triumph against Atlanta at Old Trafford. Cheer or jeers turned into cheers as United roared on by an increasingly hyperactive crowd rally to complete one of their great European victories. This time it was at one of his trademark headers as he rose to meet Luke Shaw's cross and find the bottom corner to send United to the top of Group F. And that's the news at this time. Special credits to news source, iNews Newsroom and CNN.